Guys, nato niya ben, hindi po yan casing. Tutupong likod dyan ng phone na. This is the very first back color changing phone, which is the Infinix E Color Shift technology. Actually, earlier this year, with the MWC, they actually featured this technology. Pero version 1 pa yon. Ito na yung version 2.0. Look at that. Sobra nakatuwa. Now, this kind of technology is gonna come out soon sa kanilang mga bagong phones. For sure. Siguro sa mga zero series phones nila. And what this provides is something really, really different na. Finally, iba-iba na yung itsura ng phone nyo. Kung dati, kailan mo bumili lang casing para magbago yung itsura ng phone nyo. Now, you don't even need to buy a casing anymore. And look at that. Sobra high-tech nang dating. Now, this technology is very advanced. Even Apple and Samsung does not have this kind of tech. Isipin nyo si D-Brand, no? Diba parang skin brand po siya for your phones. You have to order that skin para magbago-bago yung itsura ng inyong likod. But what if you don't even have to buy and apply a skin? What if i-download mo na lang siya tapos i-apply agad sa software dito sa likod ng parang ganyan lang? Wow. By the way, ito pala si Infinix 040 5G pero concept phone lang po siya. A preview on what's to come. And what's to come is this. Apo sa Benz and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Huhu! Yes, what you're looking at is the Infinix 040 5G. Pero this is not about a review of this phone. Kasi nga, syempre, concept phone lang to. Hindi pa siya final. Pero all the specs of the, that phone is actually right here. Ang pinaka-point nitong video is this effect sa kanyang likod. Na nagbabago-bago yung kanyang itsura, yung kanyang color, and yung kanyang pattern. Which begs the question, what actually activates this kind of pattern changing? Well, meron siyang app dito called the e-color shift app. You can actually turn it on or off. Kapag naka-off siya, it will look just like that. Very plain, gray and white color lang po siya sa likod. Parang prototype lang na phone, di ba? A blank slate. But if you turn it on, ayun na, nagbabago na yung kulay. Actually, feeling ko habang nagbabago na yung kulay niya, parang minimix-mix na niya yung mga colors, nag-iisip na siya kung ano yung gusto niya maging itsura. For now, ito po yung kanyang pwedeng gawin. Kapag ka nag-calls ka, if someone calls you, nag-i-strobe yung kanyang likod. And slowly, meron lalabas po na pattern ng phone, color green yung itsura. Just like yung app ng phone. Also, kapag may message, maglalabas din ang pattern ng message. While charging, color blue po yung kanyang color. At ito po yung kanyang symbol. Kapag fully charged, ito na yung symbol niya. Color green yung color and fully charged. Now, I think what it's doing is that it's placing all of the activity sa kanyang display to its back. Kung madalas, nakalatag yung phone mo, ito yung display, pwede mo na siyang italikod. At meron ka naman kung mga activity dito, mga notification, alerts, mga ganyan, pwedeng-pwede, nagbabagay yung likod niya based on those things. Yes. Whilst I think saving more battery, kasi nga, there's less going on sa likod compared dito sa kanyang display, which is AMOLED po siya. Siyempre, matindi po yung activity talaga sa isang display and more power is needed for a very powerful display just like this one. What if you just need a very simple, very plain effect? Now, this kind of technology opens up a lot of new opportunities in the future for smartphones at na na po si Infinix dito. What do I mean? Well, for example, binili mo siya for the design and uh, cover mo lang naman siya ng casing na binili mo na color black. Well, sad to say, sayang. But now, you don't even have to buy a casing anymore on top of the very durable na mga phones ngayon. You just need a very expressive looking phone. And that is what this technology provides. More expression for you. Kaya mo na-express ang sarili mo. Pero kasi for now, ito lang yung mga patterns na available. Yung colors. Very basic pa lang. This is just a concept phone. But in the future, so much possibilities are endless. Isipin nyo kung ano yung nagagawa nyo sa wallpaper sa inyong display, pwedeng-pwede na siya sa likod ng phone nyo. Simply by just downloading a wallpaper or back paper, pwede rin niyang gamitin yung creativity ng kung ano yung itsura ng camera. Pwede siya maging canyon. Tapos meron parang design sa likod na complementing the camera module of this phone. Pwede rin pwede yun. Or pwede maging spider eyes to. Tapos meron mga spider spider din sa likod na design. Pwede rin yun. Very smart. It is showing us the possibilities of what can be done with something like this. Now, what I noticed is that it's backlighting on the side. It's not like a light absorption technology. I noticed that if it's a little bit dark, it's not really dark. It's very dim on its side. If it's a little bit dark, we also use the studio lights. It's more visible on its side. It's more visible. It's more adaptive on its brightness, even on its side. We also took this one outside in the sunlight. It's more brightened up on its side in the sunlight. Ah, because of course, if it's not adjusted on its side, it's more contrasting on its side. It's more contrasting on its side. 
dull, flat. Oh, you actually need to put in more brightness and contrast para mas magmukhang maganda siya in your eyes. Kasi nga, hindi po equal po lahat ng itsura ng mga images uh, sa mata natin, no? Sometimes an image can be very dull depending on the lighting conditions. Sometimes it could be very powerful, very impactful kapag madilim. Di ba kapag madilim guys, parang ang lakas ng brightness ng inyong display, ganun po yung dating niya. Kapag ka sa araw naman, parang dim ng display niyo, wala kayo mabasa, parang ang pangit ng graphics ng nilalaro niyo or binabasa niyo parang medyo malabo. Ganun din po yung effect dito sa likod niya. Kaya po siya gumaganyan, nag-a-adaptive siya. Now the e-color shift app can do a lot of things. You can actually loop the effects sa likod kung uh, nabubord kayo sa iisa lang na design. Pwede po siya mag-loop pabago-bago just like that. Iba na naman yung kanyang itsura, iba na naman yung pattern. You can actually choose the patterns that you want and even the colors. Ako, mahilig ako sa color yellow or mustard. Siyempre, alam niyo na. That's our branding. But, apart from that, meron po siyang AI dito, AI recognized technology to take care all of the uh, pattern changing for you. And so far, it has three options here. AI color recognition, AI weather recognition, and AI emotions recognition. That's right. AI phone na po yung mga Infinix ngayon. Infinix is calling it Infinix AI. Now, AI has been there for quite some time. No? Nag-start ako mag-review sa Unbox Diaries since 2019. Actually, even before that, sa TechBeans, 2018, may mga AI na po ang mga phones. Pero sa camera lang po. Di ba may... AI doon, may nakalaga AI. Nag-start po AI doon. What AI entails is that it's simply a technology wherein kapag mayroon mga certain conditions na na-met, mag-change yung kanyang mga decisions, yung mga effects niya mag-change din depending doon sa situation na yun. For example, sa camera, kapag ka madilim yung lugar, makikikin yung kanyang night mode para mas bright na lahat, mas vibrant yung color sa low light. Kapag ka green yung color ng damit mo, mas igi-green pa niya para mas malakas yung dating ng color mo. Kapag nakita niya yung tao na mukha, lalagyan niya ng beautification para mas smooth, mas maganda, mas pogi ka. That is AI before. But now, AI is quite, quite different kasi nga meron ng ChatGPT, may mga evolutions na sa AI. It can do much, much more. And with this, meron siya mga AI color recognition. Click mo yung capture color. Ito. It's actually just gonna open the camera app. Pwede ka mag-picture ng mga kahit anong bagay. For example, pagka-color red, yung mag-AI recognize siya. Tapos, click the generate. And sa likod niya, ayan. Ayan, medyo nag-maroon ang kanyang likod dahil red yung na-capture natin kanina. Wow! What if orange naman ang likod? Ayan! Okay, generate. Pinicture kay likod, ha? Orange yan. Tinatin, ha? And just like that, naging orange ang likod nung likod. Ano? <laughs> likod na likod. <laughs> what about AI weather recognition, guys? You can also take a photo of yung weather. Sakto, umuulan ngayon, no? Ito po. Pinitura namin yung ulan. And just like that, ito po yung kanyang pattern na pinakita. Merong cloud na pattern na nabuo sa likod. Nice. Very smart. Very AI. Pero talaga, ito yung pinakakomplex sa lahat. Kasi nga, it's very hard to know yung emotion mo. What if straight face ka lang? Anong emotion yun? Nanchalant. Uh, medyo advanced na yung mga emotion na yun. Pero pag happy ka, ito po yung itsura niya. Magiging smile po yung kanyang pattern sa likod. Ayan. Kapag ka-angry ka, angry din yung kanyang pattern sa likod. Kapag sad ka, ayan po yung itsura niya. Color blue din yung color niya. It's very smart and very gimmicky for now. Kasi nga, I don't think a lot of people will be using it for that purposes. Ako ha, kung ako gagamit ng mga ganito, magpipicture ba ako ng mga emosyon ng tao and then magbabago ba yung gusto ko ba yung ganun mangyari? I don't think so. Will I be picturing the clouds or the, the sun? Siguro yung damit ko. Kung ano yung style ng damit ko, gagayahin niya. That is something I want. Oh, oh. biglang magiging unbox diary. So, ay, yun ang gawin nyo. Siguro may OOTD ka ngayon. Gusto mong kamukhang kamukha ng phone mo, yung damit mo, yung suotan mo, yung forma mo, yung pattern ng uh, pagka ano mo, yan ang dapat yung gawin. Para paglabas ng phone mo sa pocket, huh, di ba? Terno! If kaya niyang gawin yun, that is going to be the most innovative thing for mankind. Para siyang chameleon, no? Nag-change yung color, depending sa environment, sa background, and things like that. But it's very basic right now, kasi nga, kung ano lang yung pre-built niya ng mga pattern dito and color, yun lang yung kaya niyang, kaya niyang ipakita sa inyo sa likod. Very limited pero kasi it's still just a concept phone. Do not expect too much na final product na po siya. Ito kung ano yung bibili nyo. Ito na po yun, no? Concept lang po to. A glimpse of the future of what's to come. Now, this is the 045G. Uh, na, lumabas naman na siya sa ibang bansa so it's actually okay to say to you guys the specs of the phone. Dimensity 8200 Ultimate 
processor, 5G na po siya, same as the GT20 Pro gaming phone. Kung medyo napapangita ka sa kanyang camera, this one is a huge step up kasi nga zero series siya. And you'll still have the same performance as that phone. And kung ayaw mo yung kanyang itsura, gusto mo lang mas elegante, mas pang, pang flagship, ito na po yun. But it's going to be a much more interesting future if ito po yung gagamit na lang technology, yung e-color shift 2.0 or 3.0, 4.0, kung ano man yan, sa mga upcoming phones nila. Sana ilabas, no? Hindi lang siya concept. Pero for now, it's not yet ready. Pansin ko, whenever na meron siyang kinakapture or meron siyang gagawing notification, medyo mabagal yung pag-change niya ng pattern. Yun napansin ko, uh, medyo mag-strobe yung lights and then tsaka lang lalabas for a few seconds. It's it's too slow in changing patterns. Something na hindi pa masyado useful for me. Kasi for example, kapag meron notification sa screen, di ba? Kapag may nag-call sa'yo, talagang may lalabas agad na notification, ma-alarm ka agad. Ito naman, parang yung pattern niya, late na lalabas para mag-strobe mo na siya. Ano gagawin ko? Ano gagawin ko? Tsaka lang lalabas yung kanyang pattern. Parang hindi pa siya, ano, sure sa sarili niya. Yeah. Siguro parang Christmas lights lang muna siya now. <laughs> Christmas lights lang muna. Pero ang hope in the future, kapag ka nag-evolve na talaga siya, pwede ka mag-download ng mga sarili mong pattern. Meron mga back paper collection na pwede mong pagpilian. Kung sobrang tindi talaga ng back paper mo, or nakita mo sa internet, bilhin mo na lang siya. Or you can actually create your own back paper kung artist ka. That's good. But yes, the key idea here is you can now express yourself more with your phone in the future. With the e-color shift technology, the possibilities are endless. 5G lang to. Joke lang. Wala pa nga. Traba. What I'm actually excited about is kahit wala yung likod niya, itong color changing, sana naman ilabas si 045G sa ating bansa. Yun na naman. Kasi nga, matagal ko na siya nihintay. Last year, lumabas po si 035G noong September. Now, kahit November na, wala pa rin siya. What, what's happening? Hindi pa siya ganun kalakas last year? Ano ba ang problema, Infinix? May hinihintay pa kayo? Just let me know. Uh, review na natin yan. 045G Philippines coming soon. Hopefully. Kung ganun nga, mag-subscribe ka na. Hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content of the bins. And you're watching Unbox Series. Woohoo!